Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Here we're going to solve another differential equation. As we go along, we'll ratchet up the complexity a little bit uh, so that you can get a variety of different types of problem types and also challenge yourself and get some skills. The other thing I'll say is that many of you watching this may not be taking a differential equations class right now, but it's okay because by doing these problems, you're getting practice with taking the transform and also inverting, taking the inverse transform. So even if you don't care much about differential equations in specific, by doing these problems, you're getting a lot of practice with the Laplace transform. So let's say we have the problem d, uh, third derivative of x minus the second derivative of x is equal to 0. So that's a typical differential equation uh, in the operator notation. So it's the third derivative of x of t minus the second derivative of x of t is equal to 0. The initial conditions that are given in the problem statement is x of 0 is equal to x prime of 0 is equal to x double prime of 0, which is equal to 3. So basically, at time 0, the function is equal to 3, its first derivative is equal to 3, and its second derivative is equal to 3, all at time 0. Notice also, this is a third, uh, third order differential equation, so because the highest derivative in the whole thing is a 3, there has to be three initial conditions in order to solve it. That's a property of differential equations. You always have to have uh, the same number of initial conditions as the highest derivative in order to, to actually do anything, or to, in order to, to lock down the solution. So we apply the same thing. We're going to take the Laplace transform of everything, and we're going to do it separately. So I'll have the Laplace transform, this should be a 3 actually, of the third derivative, and then the Laplace transform of the second derivative. And on the right-hand side, we'll go ahead and take the Laplace transform of 0. So we're just applying that Laplace transform to each, each and everything. Now for the third derivative, when we come down here and see what we wrote, the Laplace transform has an s cubed times the Laplace transform minus x s squared times this, minus s times the first derivative, minus the second derivative there. So it's going to get kind of complicated, not super complicated. What you're going to have is s times the, the Laplace transform. Then you have a minus, uh, and actually it's going to be an s, let me erase this and give a little more space. It's going to be s cubed. The first s that you have always matches the order of the derivative that you have. Then you have your Laplace transform. Then you go down one power in s, and then you have the initial condition. And then you go down another power of s, and you have the first derivative. And then you go down another power of s, which means it disappears. And then you have the second derivative, all evaluated at 0. All right? So that's what you get. All of this stuff just comes from this term right here. All right, now I'm going to run out of space.